but if I move this on the X axis, you get the school animation. You all are welcome again to this tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Lukafo, and today I'll be showing you guys how to use the action constraint to create cool transformation effect. So this is what we'll be trying to end up with. So all these are being controlled by the action constraint. So let me show you guys how I did that. So this is the startup file which I will try to provide for you guys. It has been rigged and weight painted. And yeah, so let's start up. So if you've never used the action constraint or if you if you find it really hard to use, um, this should be a good beginner tutorial for you. Okay, so let's just add the action constraint. Let's go through the basic functionalities. So uh, first of all, you see the target. The target is just basically the control object that would trigger the action. Then you have the from the target. So this is basically if you want to scale the object to trigger the action or if you want to move it on the x-axis to trigger an action, um, that's what this parameter does. And also you have the action. So this is one of the most important parts of this whole um, configuration. So let's set up a cool action for this task. So you have to go to your animation tab where you have your timeline and your dope sheet or your graph editor already out. Okay. So um, in the first frame, I'll just hide this controllable. <clears throat> in the first frame, I'll select all and press I to insert keyframe. So I'm inserting the scale, rotation, and location. And I will just go to any frame. So it doesn't matter here. And let me just try to pose this object. I'll just displace them. OK, so now I can insert a keyframe, and we're good. So like this um, part of the workflow, you, don't, you can just animate as you like. So you can do anything you want. You can also add in between animation, and it will work perfectly. OK, uh, so when you're done with your animation, um, now you go to your graph editor and select all and press T and you can set it to linear. So linear will make it just go straight forward and you don't have any slow in transition or slow out transition, stuff like that. So just set it to linear. So for the next part, we want to go to the dope sheet. This is where we'll uh, make it an action. Um, so we want to switch. Normally it's in the dope sheet, so you want to switch it to the action editor. Okay, so once you're here, what you want to do is give this action a name. By default, it's set to action um, amateur action, so I want to set this to transform to. Okay, so once you do that, um, you want to click on this next little um, icon here. So what this icon does is it's going to save this animation data. That no matter even though you delete the animation, the animation is going to remain in this blend file. Okay. And so once you've done that, you can just close this. And you can always uh, um, access or retrieve your animation data from here. And you can also you can also edit it. OK. Now you have all the data you need to make this work. So let's add the action constraint one more time. So we'll select the controller bone and shift select the bone. We want to apply this effect. Press Control shift c select action. So Blender has filled in some of the parameters for us. So now what we want to do is select the transformation tool. So that's the one we just named. And for the location, I will leave it in the X location. For the target um, space, I want to set it to local space. OK. And yeah, so for the action range, I will set it to 1. And end at 30 frames. So this is just duration of your frame. If, if your animation is set to last for 50 frames, then you input that. If it's set to last for 20 frames, then you input that. Then for the min uh, min range and the maximum range is basically um, the speed you want for this animation to take effect. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at one. I'm going to set the minimum at 0.5 or zero and the maximum at one, okay? So what this means is if I move this, 
it's going faster. But if I set this to something like seven, it's going to take more time to get there. Okay, so that's basically what this parameter does. Um, so with that, that's just basically all you need to know about the action ed editor. So you can also choose your Y location, Z location, extrusion to act as its trigger for this animation. So before we continue, I want to just set change this action from trans um, transform to to transformation. So um, this is the animation data of the transformation you saw earlier. Okay. Um, now I will just hide this controller bone. So instead of manually adding the constraint, there's a cool um, way to just copy the constraint from all the, from one bone to the rest of the bone. So I will select all the bones which I want to transfer. Shift select this one and press Control C and use copy constraint. And now if I move this on the X axis, you get the school animation. So that's basically it, guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye-bye for now. See you next time.